Hello, I'm Russ. I'm an engineer and an architect in IBM. So when I was um, a boy, about seven years old, um, myself and my father built uh, a metal detector. We needed something to do. And uh, this was really interesting. It was the first time I touched anything to do with electronics. And that just got me hooked. We started working with increasing the range of this metal detector, making it into a radio transmitter. And from there, I just got more and more into radio and electronics and engineering in general and uh, ended up at IBM. One of the things I do as a job is take a dog for a walk every day of the week. Now, this dog isn't a normal dog, it's an electric dog called Spot. Spot is a battery operated dog. It's based on a lot of intelligent sensors, vibration meters, uh, gyroscopes, all sorts of other stuff. And Spot is used to walk around and autonomously inspect things in a building that you wouldn't typically want to go to yourself, for example in a power station that's really warm, you don't really want to go there because it's, it's not very nice. Maybe it's a sewage works, you don't want to go anywhere down there. Could be a mine shaft, it could be on the, on the underground in London where you don't really want to go yourself because it could be seen as being dangerous. Now the thing is with Spot, due to the amount of AI or artificial intelligence built into the robot, it's learning all the time and to actually teach you to do something new is really quick. Um, it's not difficult. You can train it to do something completely new in, in less than five minutes. But once you've trained him once, he'll do it over and over again until he's time to do something else. So it's a very obedient mechanical dog. Now these cameras are positioned in a stereo way. So two cameras looking at the same object can give you an idea of the depth or the distance away from the cameras. Some of the other uh, sensors we have on spot are very expensive, elaborate, um, infrared cameras on the front to do thermal imaging. We've also got a very high quality pan tilt zoom camera again on the front and the whole purpose of this is to let Spot go and do a job and get the information without you having to go anywhere near it. Spot will go, take the pictures, come back, analyse the pictures. The first thing you know is there's a problem and Spot's told you what that problem is. When, you, when, you, when you're young and you don't know much about what an engineer is, you probably think it's, it's working in a garage or it's um, it's building things, but an engineer is a lot more than that. So I'm an electronics engineer, but you can also get chemical engineers and all sorts of other engineers. If I was going to be an engineer nowadays, I would probably get one of the modern apprenticeships, get a modern apprenticeship, and loads and loads of companies all, all over the world do these apprenticeships. Get yourself into engineering as an apprentice, get yourself a degree. Normally the degrees are attached to these apprenticeships as well. Keep moving and just continue with it. Once you're an engineer once, you'll be an engineer for life, you, you never forget. Yeah, an engineer is an engineer. As far as salaries for engineers go, I, there's a lot of variables in it. The age, your skills and various other things. A young apprentice engineer would probably be looking at 25,000 pounds, that's a guess. But once you get good at your job and you become senior, then you can be making a lot more money. If you're passionate about the job, money's almost secondary. Okay, you've got, to, you've got to earn a wage, but there's more to engineering than just getting a good wage. It's about enjoying the job. Imagine going to work every day and hating it, or imagine going to work every day and loving it, and imagine you get roughly the same pay. What are you gonna do? You're gonna to go to work and enjoy the job, which is what I do.